in this MCQ, we have to find the distance between these two points. So this question actually uses two relations. One is the relation between sine square and cos square, that is sine square plus cos square, theta is equal to one. And the other, the distance formula, distance between any two points is given by this formula, x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now we have to find distance here. Let's say if I uh, find out the distance, this is whole under root. Let's say I place the under root here first. This is whole under root x2 minus x1 whole square. So what is x2? So it's 0 minus of this. So 0 minus this will be what? Minus this only. That is minus a cos theta minus b sin theta. You must be able to get it. I suppose that we are actually finding x2 minus x1. So this, this is 0. That is 0 minus this will be minus of this. So x2, this is x2 minus x1 whole square. Now plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So y2 is what? y2 is this. So y2 minus y1 whole square, that is a sine theta minus b cos theta minus 0. So that will be this only. That is... Uh, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now what you can figure out here that uh, we have a minus sign here and if I take minus sign outside then these will become positive and since we have a square over this right we have a square so this will be positive and so we can conclude that actually this is we can say that after taking minus common this is nothing but plus only. As you know that if I take out minus common and then we have a square over it, as you can see, we have a square over it and that's why it should be a cos theta plus b sin theta. Now, in the next step, I'm going to expand this, applying the identity that is a plus b whole square. So this is going to be square of this, that is a square cos square theta plus the square of second term, that is b square. This is b square sine square theta plus two times two times this into this. So I can write in any order. I wrote two a b into sine theta into cos theta. Now we have a plus here. So I wrote a plus sign here and this is applying same but this time it is a minus b whole square. So it's going to be a square sine square theta plus b square no, yeah, that's b square cos square theta minus 2ab. That means minus 2ab sine theta dot cos theta. And you must not forget that there is a whole under root over here. That is, this is, there is an under root. So there is an under root over here. So now, to find out uh, the distance, what you can see here, first of all, that this is same. So they get cancelled, right? 2ab sine theta cos theta minus 2ab sine theta cos theta. Now, next, what I'm going to do is taking uh, a square common from here. That is, this is uh, a square sine square and this is, sorry, a square cos square and this is a square sine square. So if I take out a square as common with outside, what we'll get? We'll get sine square theta plus cos square theta plus. Now you can see that uh, we have uh, b square common from this part. That means if I take out b square common here, so we'll once again get sine square theta plus cos square theta. And as I said, there is a whole under root over here. So which must not forget that there's a whole under root. Now, in the next step, what I'm doing is, is substituting this sine square plus cos square as one. So this is, uh, if I place this as one, what you are going to get here is a square, a square into one is a square plus b square into one is b square. Now we can say we got the distance as whole under root a square plus b square. 
Yeah. So therefore, the concluding thing is that C is the correct answer for this.